Hello, people of YouTube. Hello, silver stackers. Hello, coin roll hunters. Welcome to my little corner of the internet. This is Michael from Penny Haven. And first off, if you haven't yet, please hit that subscribe button, then give it a like, then come back over here and hit that bell icon so you know when my new videos come out. All right. So, at the end of another week and another trip to my local coin shop. Can't wait to show you what I got, so I'm just going to get started. First off, uh, you may have seen in my last video, I got some Great Britain penny books to fill now. So I just grabbed uh, a random 1936, one penny. There we go. And you may also have seen that I've got three Canadian penny books to go through. And I just happened to find this... Very fine, 1899. Queen Elizabeth. Queen Victoria. One cent. And I found a few Straits Settlements coins recently. And I just happened to find an 1874. Queen Victoria Straits Settlement, one cent. Couldn't pass that up. 1874. Very nice. Now, oh, not quite. This one's an in-betweener here. This is a beautiful design that I really enjoy. The 19, uh, the uh, New Zealand three pence with the crossed pot two on the reverse. There's QE2 on the front. But this is a 1962, so it does not have silver contents. It is cupro-nickel. It was only a quarter, so I got it. It is in uncirculated condition. Now, on to the foreign silver, which you might think I'm getting into a rut with just buying more and more foreign silver, but it's silver, and it's foreign, so there's all these cool designs and new things to learn, so I'm going to stick in this rut for a little bit. First off... Uh, you'll be familiar with these if you've been watching my videos recently. There are a lot of these out there, and I like to grab them when they're on the cheaper side, which these first two were. A 1916 Netherlands 10 cents. There she is. There's the back. A 1941, in pretty nice condition, Netherlands 10 cents. On to Sweden. This is a 1953. Oh, I neglected to tell you that these first two were 64% silver. Now, 1953 Swedish 25 ore. Look at that crown. Beautiful, also in uncirculated condition. Very nice. Look at that. Beautiful. And 40% silver. Switzerland. A 1907 half franc in very nice condition once again. Ooh, beautiful. And this, I love foreign fractional currency. You never know what you're going to get. This is 83 and a half percent silver. Lots of different concentrations of silver. Now this one, <clears throat> I was looking it up. I accidentally clicked on the wrong link, so it was a larger denomination, and was just blown away by the silver melt price. And I was like, whoa, what did I get? But what I actually got was a Netherlands 1929, half golden. A very nice coin. Coming in at 72% silver. I'd accidentally clicked on the two and a half golden which has a, a melt value today of $15.55. Uh, so I was pretty stoked about that. And I'm like, wait, that cannot be right. This coin isn't heavy enough. What's going on? So I spotted my error, went back, clicked the one half golden, and uh, it's worth more than I paid in just in silver. So still happy. All right. So that's going to be it for today. Um, you may or may not see this before uh, Saturday, the 19th of September at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. 
over at my coin caves channel he and i will be doing a nickel box battle and i am very excited i'm also a little sick but i'm pushing through because hey box battle fun bad jokes i'm bringing the bad jokes he's bringing the fun we're both bringing nickels so i hope you'll you'll uh, come out for that tonight yeah got to get this video edited and put up so you can come out tonight all right i'm gonna get out of here right now and do just that this is michael from pennyhaven Happy hunting.